Before you begin, you need to turn off the power to the system. Using a 5 16 Allen wrench, open the back cabinet door. Move the tanks out of the way to access the power control box. Pull the control box out and open the top access panel. Then turn off the circuit breaker and slide the box back in. Open the front hood and the back door to access the fluxer. Release the knobs on the fluxer unit and pull it out. Reach in and pull the spray nozzle out. Loosen the hex screws on the actuator cover. From the other side, loosen the front screws of the cover. With all four screws loose, you will be able to remove the cover. Remove the four hex screws from the fluxer mount. Once loose, set the unit back out of the way. Remove the two Phillips head screws from the actuator cover. With the cover removed, you will see the buildup of flux that needs to be cleaned about once a month. Spray the actuator with water or alcohol, depending on your flux, and use cleaning towels to wipe it clean. Once clean, replace the actuator cover and tighten the Phillips head screws. Remount the fluxer unit and tighten all four hex screws. Replace the actuator cover. Tighten the hex screws on the back side and the front. Slide the fluxer unit to the middle so it will rehome itself when turned on. Slide the unit back in place. And tighten the knobs to secure it. Now you can turn the circuit breaker back on. Slide the tanks back into place and close the back door. Close the hood and you're finished.